today, I got a terrible shoe restoration for you. I'm turning this into this. Wait, I mean from this to this. Today we're sponsored. Today, this video is sponsored by me. No brand wants to sponsor me. So you gotta support yourself. Let's get to this video. Let's go. To remove cracked paint of the shoe, you gotta use acetone. However, too much acetone can damage the shoe. So I decided to use this wood chisel, or wood, but I'm using it on a shoe. You know, you gotta do it lightly, go through corners lightly, or I might damage the shoe. Uh, the other method is paint stripper. I can't afford it, alright? <laughs> trying to sniff that sorry forgot to line that paint up you know you got sometimes you got so i haven't used photoshop or anything so here's my attempt of taking pictures or the clickbait or thumbnail ka -chow. you can't see it from the camera but in person the shoe has a lot of hair in there like someone uses this shoe to go get a haircut and it's just a beater shoe I mean, this previous owner can be a barber, who knows. So I'm using my own soap solution, and you gotta make sure the shoe gets bubbly on the outside and the inside. Once it's done, you gotta wipe it down with a towel. Gentlemen, you know what to do. When it's bubbly, you gotta wipe it down. Wipe, wipe, wipe it down, wipe. For the laces, we'll be putting in a container with some bleach. Slope solution and some warm water. Tighten up the container. And you should have hear that lovely sound. To clean up the inside of the shoe, I'll be using a fabric shaver to get rid of some of the wet. So I'm tipping the shoes so that I can uh, lightly put some acetone on the midsole so that some of the acetone won't leak on the upper part or the bottom part of the shoe. The acetone is getting rid of the dust, the little extra paint that I couldn't get rid of. I'm going to be using Angela's black and white uh, acrylic leather paint on the midsole. As I'm painting, I will be adding layers and using a hair dryer so that I can speed up the process. I let the paint dry overnight and now I hit it off with the Carlon matte finisher to seal it off so that I can prevent the paint from cracking. To remove creases, I'm gonna, you gotta stuff the shoe with a sock. No, I'm not talking about the sock near the lotion that's on your computer table. Come on guys, you can do better than that. I forgot to show you that to remove creases, I'm gonna cover the shoe, the toe gap with a, a damp towel and use an iron. Sizzler. Look at that. It ain't good, but it's, it's terrible. It's hot garbage. Premium trash. Look at this terrible job of this paint leaking. 
right there and I would this and I used this wood chisel and this is the result of it and there's some scuffs right there um, I should probably use some acetone and put some flat paint for a left shoe it's worse I have to re-glue the shoe and that didn't go too well look at this um, terrible job right here and I forgot to tape this air unit when applying acetone and it got cloudy and that's on terrible restorations in conclusion the shoe is literally trash you know what you live and you learn mistakes are the best teacher and this was not a mistake it was a terrible mess up shoe and i couldn't bring it back to life i pray to the person who wears this next shoe if you made it this far, I don't know how, 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 how did you make it this far? You might just check out my TikTok, link in the bio for more random BS content. You know what, follow my Instagram so that I can make other people cringe or hate on me. That's the beauty of Terrible Restorations. I hope you enjoy this trash content or Terrible Restoration. I can finally delete all those clips on my phone and have some storage. Thanks. And press the like button if you just want to see me struggle more. See more trash content and subscribe.